Hello, uh, hello everyone. Uh, uh, today our presentation is on module one, course one, uh, titled "Developing Entrepreneurship Stroke Entrepreneurship." As you can see, uh, uh, my name is Moaz Asa Moaz. I am to facilitate through facilitate uh, uh, this course, uh, this module particularly. Yeah. So basically, this uh, module, as we, uh, some of us are aware, or, and I'm sure some of us are not aware, uh, the entrepreneurship concept, uh, program was introduced into Nigerian University curriculum in order to to educate uh, our undergraduates, and not just to educate them on entrepreneurship, but to expose them into entrepreneurship and to see whether uh, it will help them to develop the mindset to create their own businesses or develop the mindset uh, rather to uh, create ventures that could solve societal problems. So entrepreneurs are known for solving problems in our society and, and perhaps one of the reasons why the federal government introduced the, the program into, our, into Nigerian universities and even Nigerian, all Nigerian tertiary institutions, uh, colleges of education, polytechnics in some states, they even started at secondary level. So I'm um, to take you through this model and entrepreneurship, like I said in the introduction, in this uh, model, uh, we understand uh, what entrepreneurship is all about who is an entrepreneur, what models of entrepreneurship, and then we talk about entrepreneurship and we talk about corporate entrepreneurship. So basically this model introduces you to the concept of entrepreneurship. If you are hearing it for the first time, uh, we're going to see what it means and uh, we're going to see all the concepts and what they mean. So you should put it at the back of your mind that you're here to learn something that is going to take you all to perhaps uh, change your life of uh, developing uh, a venture either for for business or for social purpose in order to solve societal problem and in the long end uh, we're hoping that it will expose a student to start thinking of uh, self-reliance how can i create an enterprise or business that can, i can be on my own considering the non-availability of jobs for everyone yeah but some people no matter what you do or what you said we uh, cannot start business So this, this is what we expect to cover throughout this model, uh, concept of entrepreneurship, theories of entrepreneurship, uh, entrepreneurship as venture creation, and concept of corporate entrepreneurship. So we'll talk about the concept, what it means, what it is, and, and the second one is the theories of entrepreneurship. The third one is entrepreneurship and venture, whether entrepreneurship means that one must create a venture or not yeah and but then we'll talk about concept of corporate entrepreneurship what is it all about so we understand the difference between the two um, with some example uh, uh to un for us to understand what it means and what the difference is uh definition debacle because there are a lot of arguments so uh, uh this is the issue issue on the de definition because there are a lot of arguments that some people are saying entrepreneurship is about business some people are saying is uh, solving problem there are a lot of arguments on, on the term of entre what entrepreneurship stand for so the term entrepreneurship is viewed differently by scholars policy makers and researchers the term generates a variety of connotations and remains somewhat elusive even to some a mythical phenomena. It is still not concluded as to which definition to be accepted. Because there are a lot of argument as to what entrepreneurship is. Some people are looking at it uh, from solving social problems, while they are specifically looking at it from starting a business. But uh, on the general note, majority uh, is saying that entrepreneurship is about 
uh, changing attitude, innovation, creativity, creating value, solving societal problem. Uh, and, 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 and this is, uh, uh, this is uh, one of the accepted ones because anyway, we're going to see as we move further. So it is still not concluded as to which definition to be accepted. Yeah, but uh, some of the features uh, in this class, we consider some of the features of entrepreneurship and we feel, of course, it could be considered based on some of the features. And what are the features? Uh, one, uh, innovation. Two, creativity. Three, um, uh, bringing in, or, or bringing value. And, and, and for, you know, solving societal problems and for money or for rewards so in kind in kind means uh, waiting to get the reward in heaven or, or getting popularity and the rest of it yeah so a process dimension uh, we're, we're taking dimensions by dimension so dimensions of entrepreneurship one process dimension according to this dimension uh, uh, entrepreneurship is a process of creating something new of value by devoting necessary time and effort, assuming the accompanying financial psyche and social risk, and receiving the resu resulting rewards of monetary and personal satisfaction and independence. I'll take it again. Entrepreneurship is a process of creating something new of value by devoting the necessary time and effort assuming the accompanying financial psyche and social risk and receiving the resulting reward of monetary in forms of monetary or personal satisfaction and independence what it means is that is a is a process of doing something new that has value assuming you develop a solution to a problem for example in this our society we have a lot of malaria and 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 now you you decided to say okay i want to invent say uh, vaccination for malaria so by inventing that vaccination for malaria what did you do you introduced the vaccination it solved the social problem and what is your what of course you sell it to people and when people buy the vaccine what do you get you, you get the monetary reward coming back to you or you might decide to, after some years, after the vaccination, uh, the uh, collecting money, and, and over time you might decide to say, okay, this vaccination is now free. And, and then through that, uh, you drive personal satisfaction. Uh, what, I, what I mean is you make the monetary gain and you drive, you know, personal satisfaction as well. It's a typical example. Still under this dimension, we have uh, entrepreneurship. We've seen entrepreneurship is seen as any novel activity which create organizational change and economic value. I'll take it again. Entrepreneurship is seen as any novel activity which creates organizational change and economic value. It's, it's saying that any any activity which create organizational value, novel activity, novel saying any unique anything new. So creating something new uh, uh, that creates organizational change and it, it bringing economic value and then is entrepreneurship. It is considered again is the, uh, as the process by which individuals either on their own or inside firms pursue opportunities. So entrepreneurship is not only uh, according to this view, it, it can be a, it's a process by which individual leader on their own or inside firms pursue opportunity. So chasing opportunity is again under uh, another feature of entrepreneurship. Uh, it has to, you have to explore an opportunity. For example, in this class or this session, uh, uh, after the presentation, somebody could decide to develop this video or uh, combine all the models into a video uh, 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 and to start, you know, selling these uh, videos, one video of all the lectures from model one to nine, and and that's you know, an opportunity somebody explore. So that act of combining all the slides into one, one video for somebody to play and and listen, 
is exploring opportunity and that's entrepreneurship is a typical example of entrepreneurship so again they said without regard to the resources they currently control so for example bio university registration process i could remember when we were students you have to queue collect a teller go to the bank and pay when you pay return the teller to the uh, cashier he present the receipt to you you take the receipt you go to departments they, they give you crf you fill you return the crf to your level coordinator and you go all across the department for them to sign that that you've taken this course or borrows uh, you're offering this course this semester the course facilitator has to sign on all the crf so if you are uh, sub uh, subsidizing three courses from three different department it means you have to go one by one to be endorsed and then before you continue registration but today what happened your lecture your registration is done on your palm your tablet or your phone you can do all this registration register all the courses print it and just what you the, you do uh, with your level coordinator is just to submit what about hotel or flight bookings uh, uh, these are new things uh, innovation they change the entire process now you can book online and you, when you go to enter the plane you just present at some point in some countries you just scan your phone you scan the, the ticket on the, on a screen of a computer and then it will uh, it will check you in so so bank today we've seen changes in the banking process where people deposit money uh online and the the, the, the e-money e, e, e mobile money you do transfer you don't have to go to bank i cannot remember going to the bank with my checkbook or cash book to withdraw money or, or deposit money so today banks you know they you go to deposit with your atm cards uh, you deposit there there are machines where you can deposit your money you, the machine that's given and there's a machine that dispense and there's a machine that receives money what about withdrawals people today and uh, before now people have to go to queue in one bank if you are you cannot go to different branch to do the same transaction whatever transaction you have to go back to your branch but today all these are over courtesy of entrepreneurs so this entire process is entrepreneurship so the second dimension uh, looking at uh, behavior dimension so entrepreneurship under this dimension is the characteristics of seeking opportunities, taking risks beyond security, and having the tenacity to push an idea through to reality. So it's saying that entrepreneurship is the behavior of an individual who seeks opportunity, taking bearing all the risks, you know, beyond security, and having the tenacity to push an idea through to reality. So you see an opportunity now you you pursue it and that that mindset that act by an individual uh, who pursue or seek opportunity looking for them everywhere when he realizes that he take the risk to put his money or put his effort to start an adventure and then having the, the the energy and the enthusiasm to push an idea through to reality is entrepreneurship your ability to stand to initiate to develop and to produce a product or service is entrepreneurship. That behavior they consider it as entrepreneurship. Under it, initiative taking and acceptance of risks or failure is a behavior of individual. There are a lot of people who don't want to uh, uh, go to Lagos through the aeroplane because they are afraid. And some are afraid not to go to Lagos through by the road because of kidnapping accident and all of it. so this type of people they are risk abbots and they wouldn't want to venture uh, going to Lagos uh, through the road again under this dimension they, they uh, say that entrepreneurship is the inspiration of an idea the struggle of men and women against long odds and the satisfaction that come from succeeding on one's own business it's entrepreneurship. I'll take it again. Entrepreneurship is the inspiration of an idea. The struggle of men and women against long odds and the satisfaction that comes from succeeding on one's own business is entrepreneurship. That inspiration and that energy to struggle 
today no no making tomorrow you make money tomorrow you you make it and next tomorrow you make it against all long odds against all the tradition against the traditional norm that things could not be done and then the satisfaction that come from succeeding of course is entrepreneurship they said of course whatever and, and, and you you do and after after doing it and you become satisfied especially in business and successful despite all odds is entrepreneurship we, uh, one example is Nangote Nangote started a uh, long time ago and he's making it now because of the endurance because of his attitude to pursue to struggle and and when he started he started out of his comfort zone because he stayed in Lagos as a young man, he's from Kano, but he's, then he started in, he started in Lagos. And, and it, that means, you know, somebody moving out of his comfort zone against all those. The normal tradition, people stay in their locality to do businesses. So he started somewhere else. And then, you know, uh, and he's making it. What about Mina? Mina Restaurant. She started Mina Restaurant, Mina Event Center. And there is Donald Trump. You know, he started business person. And until he became the U.S. president, and his business are, are, are succeeding in, in, and that's it typical example so entrepreneurship is a way of thinking reasoning and acting that is opportunity based holistic in approach and leadership balanced what do we mean by this so entrepreneurship is a way of thinking reasoning the way you think and acting that is opportunity based there are people who are always looking for basically opportunity to explore so that acting or thinking and reasoning acting is opportunity based uh, that wherever they see opportunity they want to try they want to explore sometimes they knock the door of opportunity then and when it opens then they grab it so holistic in in approach that that looks beyond uh, the margin the, the visible margin for ever for common people to see things and then uh, leadership balance so so entrepreneurship is the introduction of new combinations, product, process, market, supply, or new organizations. So we look at the third dimension, which has to do with the outcome. So it focuses and under this dimension, it focuses on the result of, of process or behavior. So outcomes are usually understood in terms of new products and services, innovation, new ventures, or, or or the creation of value for society so under this dimension entrepreneurship results in the creation enhancement realization and renewal of value not just for the owners but for the participants and stakeholders what do we mean by participant so not only for the owner but for the customers for the society and even for the government to 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 to, to get employment for for the citizens in the country so entrepreneurship is about what do you produce, the realization, the creation of company, the creation of product, the creation of businesses or ventures, social ventures, NGOs and the rest of them. Realization and renewal of value. Things that have been there before and re updating and integrating it into the model system. Not just for the owners but for the participants. Participants, uh, uh, the customers, the employees the uh, the company the competitors the entire society at large yeah so the dynamic force that facilitate the creation of incremental wealth uh, it is the dynamic force that facilitate the creation of incremental wealth so entrepreneurship is the dynamic force that facilitate the creation of incremental wealth in an organization for example we have albarka restaurant in the old campus before we have Yehuza Suya, and now Habib Yogo is everywhere. We have premier clinics. All this are uh, outcome of somebody's entrepreneurial thinking. So uh, this dimension, they focus more on what were you able to bring to the table? What were you able to produce? What were you able to take to the market? And and there is an the example you've seen Mina, Mina or BJ Beauty Makers, and you see S Safari Salon ETC. We have Watson's bread, JK carpets, all these are examples of outcome of somebody's thinking. The look at opportunity. And now he produces something out of it. Yeah. So the key features of entrepreneurship dimensions 
this this are the dimensions we discussed earlier: uh, the process, the behavior, and the outcome. So when you look at by the right side, and then we said all this are combination of all these outcome features. The people engage in entrepreneurship. It talks about the individual now, the behavior of this individual. What about the entrepreneurial behavior displayed? The people themselves, sorry, the first one. And the second one talks about the behavior displayed. Your ability to see opportunity, exploit it, take the risk. The creation and establishment of organizations is considering the outcome. What about opportunity identified and exploited? He's talking about the, the process. What about innovation, whether incremental, radical, and or transformative? So opportunity identification, assuming risks at personal, organizational, and even societal levels, adding value to the entrepreneur and society. All these are some of the features of all this uh, discussion, the dimension we, we had earlier. Entrepreneurship. One, we have the economic entrepreneur. Uh, the economic entrepreneur, the name, this is an entrepreneurship that has to do with the creation of an enterprise with the aim of making financial gains uh, and financial gains it means profit so what do we mean by this so uh, economic entrepreneurs are those people who venture into business and making money and one of their objective is to make profit and which is a financial gain is economic entrepreneurs what about the second one social entrepreneurship so social entrepreneurship it is a kind of entrepreneurship that creates value in solving societal problems for self-satisfaction and not necessarily making profit for example NGOs so when, when you are asked to differentiate the two one will be able to know that economic entrepreneurs entrepreneurship is about creating a venture or enterprise or business or, or solutions to people and offer them that solutions and they give you money in return for that offer either a product or a service with the aim of making profit economic entrepreneurship so it's basically just like the normal business we do any business you do you know is to make profit what about the social entrepreneur it's the offering that you're waiting for the reward in heaven or you want your reward your, your expectation is that when you offer this service or product or new value or new solution to society people you become popular you gain political advantage uh, you be known in the society and some people will, will choose not to be popular but instead they will want to get the reward in heaven so that is social entrepreneurship in the course of uh, this course uh, you coming across you're going to come across social entrepreneurship there's a model particularly on it so it was elaborated and discussed uh, in Torah so that uh, one will understand what this concept is all about yeah so major characteristics of an entrepreneur one risk taking so an entrepreneur takes taking calculated risks without fear of failure so what is risk so risk is the possibility of making profit or not making profit I wouldn't want to go deeper into risk what this is all about but we're saying an entrepreneur takes risks taking risks taking calculated risks without fear of failure are those people an entrepreneur is that individual who venture into business into any activity with a mindset that with a hope that is going to make it but sometimes there could be failure but he is not afraid of that failure so he is not afraid of that failure so that fear he was able to conquer that fear so an entrepreneur is that person who conquered that fear of failure and then vote ahead to pursue his interest or idea or business or social adventure through reality without being afraid of fear or failure. So entrepreneurs are very creative. They create. So creativity and innovation is a typical characteristic of entrepreneurs. They always initiate something new and continue to improve existing idea, product or process. When you look at Apple, for example, uh, Steve Jobs was able to develop a product that is unique and is still outstanding. Even though that he is late, he's no more, he died, this company is still making it. 
He's made it to places. We've seen entrepreneurs in Nigeria, so many, who solve societal problems, who continuously innovating their process. Uh, we've seen Rafaida Yogurt around us. They are creating companies. They came from nowhere and they are everywhere now. You've seen Habib Yogurt. It's just the ordinary woman business, uh, the no, no local woman. And now they reinvent it and they, they make they introduce blender into the uh, the, uh, the making of Furada no no and that's how you know entrepreneurs are creativity they are very creative they are highly innovative so the third one is entrepreneurs have the courage they have that courage to withstand all pressure and for you to be an entrepreneur you have to withstand pressure and be courageous to forge ahead. No matter what you want to succeed in this life, you have you're going to face challenges. But then your ability to to withstand there's this saying that your ability to rise after failing, and that's what makes you an entrepreneur. So boldness and hope to succeed. So that courage, that tenacity, that enthusiasm is the one that will push you to do things. So entrepreneurs are known for that courageous. Whatever you want to start. You started well and you continue it will, it might fail today tomorrow it can succeed yes with the hope that it will succeed so endurance the endure persevere and have the tenacity to push things to the end endurance is saying that no matter how it is uh, some people will starve themselves and there's this saying that saying a successful entrepreneur is that person who was a, who is able to endure over time you start uh, a very typical example uh, is an Igbo man Sorry, I'm using Hebrew money because it is a real and it's a real example of entrepreneur. A typical Hebrew man will go to a village where there is none of his people speaking the same language. Sometimes the religion, no church in the village. He stays, he prays in his shop, he stays in his shop, he cooks food in his shop, and the bench of the shop, that's where he sleeps. So the shop becomes his house, his hospital, his home, his church, everything. In order to achieve something that he has in mind and before you know it before the next year the guy is doing well the opposite year. before you know it the shop is expanding and that's a typical example of endurance so an evil man before you know it he has big biggest shop in the town he has friends he become somebody and and before you know it, he brought somebody he's training somebody endurance so endurance is very very important for for, for entrepreneurship So this concept of entrepreneur. So entrepreneur, he is a person who displayed the act of creativity and innovation in carrying out business undertakings in order to win in a marketplace. And he is not under any employment. What about entrepreneur? I know it's a new word and, and, and therefore a lot of people have some confusion. But today, after today, uh, you're going to understand what it means. So on the other hand, an entrepreneur is that person under salaried employment that display creativity and innovation voluntarily in the process of carrying out his job. So assuming you are an employee of an organization and out of your curiosity to solve problem, you initiated a new process in the process of delivering your job that was not defined in your appointment letter. For example, in a bank now, uh, oh, sorry, in a school where uh, for example, you are a student or you are a lecturer, you know, every month you be paid salary. So out of your criticism to make the lecturing better, and now you introduce, uh, uh, you, you, you come with a generator, for example, in, in the case of countries where, where, where there is no electricity, and that lecturer decided to buy a small generator to power the class, so that fun and in, to illuminate the class. And again, he comes with his personal projector instead of using the whiteboard marker to be used in writing. And now he introduced electricity, small generator, and a projector where he'll be showing, depicting all the slides, the lecture, everything on it. So that singular act make that lecturer, he becomes an intrapreneur. So an entrepreneur is that individual who is under somebody, under somebody's job or salary or employment, and then decided to improve the process of his work. He is an entrepreneur. So basically the difference between the two is 
the entrepreneur is independent and he's doing it to make money while the entrepreneur is doing it in order to improve which is, is create new value knowing that his salary will not be in, increased simply because of that creation and therefore just doing it to improve and make the job better so they call him entrepreneur so i believe that if anybody asks you or if you come across these two words, you'll be able to differentiate them. Uh, sorry. So the functional perspective uh, focus on with the individual interaction with this environment. They're saying, okay, entrepreneurs could uh, be entrepreneurs when the, the environment weren't for that. So there are people who grew up in Lagos and Kano or, or, or Aba. They have this environmental favor. So that personal is arguing that people become entrepreneurs uh, simply because of the, uh, their interaction with the, in the environment where they are staying, you know, and that's why somehow you look at it, um, some people in Kano, people in Kano, they, they they naturally become a business people simply because the environment accommodate tolerate initiate and allow those things to happen well 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 people from lagos uh, look at it this way with people from aba uh, they are the entrepreneur because of the environment so like uh, his ability to identify problem and proper solution to his society's pro societal problem all these are uh, environmentally driven and that is the functional perspective of uh, theory of entrepreneurship so you don't have to the argument uh, is saying that does entrepreneurship always involve new venture creation it's a question so it's left for you to answer but then we will help ourselves to answer one so you don't have to start a business to be an to be entrepreneur because it is not only an economic function but a social process that creates value for many different people in a wide variety of contexts so entrepreneurship it mustn't necessarily be a business it could be any activity anything that brings solution of value from many different people in a wide variety of contexts it could be a school for example your classmates then know how to pass uh, say any uh, course that is as calculation and now you decided to organize an extra moral class you are an entrepreneur you are a social entrepreneur because you are bringing solution you are enabling them to pass this course so that singular act is entrepreneurship you don't have a company yet you solve problem and that says you are an entrepreneur so entrepreneurship is the exercise of alertness creativity judgment and the will to bring about a preferred outcome so we're saying is the exercise of alertness your alertness your ability to identify this problem identity to identify opportunity your ability to now convert this problem or create a way or means of solving that problem judgment and trying to measure whether it fits whether people will like it or not and then and the will to bring about a preferred outcome a preferred outcome is a solution the solution and the value and so that society will be over with that problem and that uh, entrepreneurship is saying so people could bring new ideas a governor can decide to, invade, to bring to build bridges in, in town simply because all the previous governors have not built one it's entrepreneurship to bring something new that others have not done before is entrepreneurship so it mustn't necessarily be a business it mustn't be an NGO for anything in one of the lectures we're saying that a married woman might decide to to in the in the in the, in the delicacy of what she, the meal she's cooking she might decide to reinvent it and put something new into it or the sitting arrangement in her parlor she might decide to rearrange it so that the place will look new all this activity all this act are entrepreneurial so entrepreneurship is seen in, as a mindset for bringing about sustainable change it's basically about bringing something new of value not negative mark you it has to be something positive yeah if you remember that that's the fourth item there which is the last item in this uh, uh in this class uh the concept of corporate entrepreneurship is for example a business entity 
engaging in an entrepreneurial activities engaging in entrepreneurial activities what are those activities or action it has to do with creativity innovation uh, identifying opportunity pursuing it and, and the rest of it so so for example uh, a company say company x right and now company x is into producing say uh, cars and now company a is uh, 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 start thinking that okay in the production of this car we can introduce robot and and those robot uh, they're going to help us to achieve you know production efficiency where they produce with less cost and it, less cost means more profit that in innovation that introducing that robot they call it corporate entrepreneurship so creating another business from an existing organization. For example, company that is manufacturing cars, for example, might decide to start, you know, uh, producing bicycle or motorcycle as a, a different company. So that singular act of producing motorcycle or bicycle is corporate entrepreneurship. Or for example, a company enhancing existing product or services. Enhancing in the sense that they add new value to it, new, 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 new value to the existing products, and that is why there are companies, uh, like example, phone companies, uh, Series One, Series Two, iPhone One, One Thirteen, Samsung Galaxy One to Twenty Something, Techno, blah blah, and the rest of it. All these are example of corporate entrepreneurship. So, or introducing new product services into existing product line. For example, Indomie, for example, or any noodle company, Indomie Hungry Man, Indomie uh, uh, Chicken Flavor, Indomie Fish Flavor, Indomie, so many Indomie. So, so introducing new product lines along the chain of the same product. So, for example, a typical example in Nigeria is a Silver Bird company. Silver Bird created the Rhythm FM, so they are a TV. Silver Bird, the cinema group with TV, and now they have FM. So what about Nangwete group? Nangwete started into a food uh, consumer goods like flour, milk, sugar, and the rest of it. And now Nangwete is, is, has ventured into cement, and now he's going into refinery. So that's corporate entrepreneurship. What about Zenit Bank? Zenit Bank, it's a bank, and now they have Zenit Insurance. It's a typical example of corporate and what about coca-cola to produce ever bottled water so that singular art of producing ever bottled water is what we call corporate entrepreneurship what about pop cola now they are producing pop water corporate entrepreneurs what about irs airline they produce irs pasta and they have irs rice so this is a typical example of corporate entrepreneurship so uh, with this, I feel uh, we're coming to the end of this class, and and, and I believe uh, that most of, some of the discussion we had uh, clarify all the issues on the concept of entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, concept of corporate entrepreneurship, and uh, individual entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, or entrepreneurship, social entrepreneurship, and economic entrepreneurship, and all of this issue. And the center point of this model is to expose you and what we mean by exposing you is to let you understand that entrepreneurship is about bringing something new that solves societal problem either to make money or to get personal satisfaction so financial satisfaction in the sense that you wait for reward in heaven or uh, get popularity or take political advantage but then generally it's about solving societal problem either to make for money making or for, for, for goodness sake entrepreneurship thank you for listening yeah uh, thank you very much i remain moaz as a moaz facilitator of this model thank you for your time